Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of US Cutter Quick Cuts. I'm Josh with US Cutter and today we're going to be showing you how to prepare an image for a print and cut job using Vinyl Master. Once we have Vinyl Master loaded, we just want to have our image positioned correctly. And when we do, we want to just go ahead and have it selected and then click this apple up here. In this apple, it's going to give us two options once we select it. The top option is the one we want to select, and that's going to be called Create Cut Contour. This will bring up the next screen, and because I'm using a .png file, it's going to ask me if it wants me to use the Auto Trace Contours. And this is going to save me a lot of time, so I'm going to go ahead and click Yes on this and it's gonna trace my image and find the contours around the edge of the image. The default settings are also gonna be just fine and you can see it did a good job. If I wanted, I could adjust the outline here, but I'm gonna make it keep it right around the outside. Once I'm happy with any adjustments that I wanna make, I'm just gonna click accept and I will have the contour line around my image on the main design screen. Before I go any further, I need to put registration marks around my image. And to do that, I need to click the apple again with my image selected and then select the second option, Contour Cut Wizard. And it's gonna bring up the Contour Cut Wizard window. Once you're inside the wizard, you can see that we have our cutter selected right here, our printer selected right here, and my printing option is gonna be selected to direct print, and that's gonna send the print directly to the printer from Vinyl Master. If I wanted to print it in another program, I would just save it as a PDF with this option down here, and then I can load that PDF in any program and print it in that. I can also save it as an image, print it as a PDF. I've never done that, me personally. The source options are set to show what I have selected, and then we have the mark positions that are set right here. And the default settings already look good, so I'm gonna go ahead and print my design. I am using the iColor 350, which is a CMYK sublimation toner printer, and I'm printing on the Caesar Easy Subly, and then I'm gonna press the design onto a black cotton shirt. It can't print white, so I'm just gonna contour cut into the design and then use the backer as my white. Everything looks good so far, so we're gonna go ahead and click print. Once it is done printing, I just need to put it on a carrier sheet and make sure that I have it lined up correctly. And then I'm gonna load it into my cutter. And if you need to see an example before you load it in, just click the cut button one time down at the bottom. And this is gonna open up the align cut file wizard. And it's gonna show you how you position your transfer and where you wanna position it with the origin point on your cutter. Once you've set that, you wanna click next and start the cutter. With the machine properly lined up, it will scan each registration mark and start the cut. Once you're done with that, you just want to weed away any unused material and proceed to the next step. Depending on your material, that step may vary. With the Caesar Easy Subly, we apply the mask, remove the backer, and then press it to a shirt. In the next three Quick Cuts episodes, we're going to be dedicating each of the episodes to each one of our US Cutter Arms Cutters. So you're going to see how to calibrate the machine as well as set up the machine and perform a contour cut in Vinyl Master. Tomorrow is going to be the Laser Point 3 followed by the Prism Cut with its optical eye. And then we're going to have the Titan 3 with the barcode scanning. All that and more coming up with the US Cutter YouTube channel, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any sales related questions, you can reach our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. And just know that every single item that we sell comes with lifetime customer support for no additional cost. And you can reach our support team at support at uscutter.com. Thank you again for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.